Hello everyone and welcome to the 134th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now for those of you that are new here, this is a series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on the Steam Workshop. I discover the features and test them out here in Stormworks. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget that like and subscribe button. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. So that was it, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. And starting this week's episode off with the first creation, we have the Ferrari 488 Pista Spider. Now, this is meant to be a one-to-one -one design. It's got a V8 engine in there, uh, top speed around 245 kilometers per an hour, uh, a range of only 30 kilometers, so a little bit small on the range, um, but it looks absolutely spectacular. So let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the car, yeah, it looks really good. I think the crate's done a fantastic job. It looks like the maximum height is around six blocks. So yeah, really quite nice. You can see the size compared to my character. Really cool. Okay, so we've got a door to get in and out. Uh, does look like we've got a couple of XML modded pieces around, but nothing crazy. Okay, and I'm guessing the engine is hidden somewhere inside there. Uh, I think there are some buttons and things around, but let's get inside and let's see what's going on. So jump inside. We have the driver's seat, okay, door, uh, we've got an e-brake, hazard lights, uh, funky mode, we've got auto manual, reverse, ambient lights, and shift. Okay, the key switch over here, ooh, okay, very interesting little dash there. Also got a hood and roof, oh, this is convertible, isn't it? Ooh, okay, so let's turn the hood off and let's go roof. Ooh, look at that. Now we have completely con that is really cool. Very clean, very nice. Okay, we got the e brake, we got hazard lights if we want them. Okay, so you can see those working quite well. Uh, let's go and try and see how well this thing drives. So, ooh, very quick. Very, very quick. Nice and straight, which I like. Sometimes when you get in cars, they kind of pull to the left or to the right, like almost like a phantom force. Turn looks quite nice. We are drifting quite a bit there. Nice, inside to here. A little bit hard to see, unfortunately. It's kind of like third person only. Ooh, very nice. Brakes, yep, brakes are working. Cool, what's funky mode? That do four. Oh, so we get RGBs everywhere. <laughs> Rainbow puke everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, a lovely, I think it's a lovely car. I think the crates has done a great job. Now this is built for track purposes, so the creator does recommend not taking it off-road or any road that's not designed to be a track. So like here, for example, I'm guessing it probably gets stuck, but it seems like it's doing an all right job. I'm just guessing at top speeds, uh, low speeds here, I think we're fine to go off road. But yeah, the crate has done a really good job. Really, really nice. What a lovely creation to start the first episode off with. Let's go and move on to the next one. And moving on to the next creation, we have the 1227 Berkshire Steam Locomotive. This is a full replica of the original. Now, this one has got a couple cool features. First, it's using coal and steam. Along with that, a top speed on the straights of about 80 miles per hour. And on curves, we got about 60. Uh, also has a realistic stonic pr uh, procedure. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, we have the locomotive and the tender. Now they're two different creations. Uh, they're completely separate. You need to download both of them, but they are linked in the workshop page. That so makes it quite easy. Now the actual creation looks stunning. The amount of detail. This looks really nice. I think Creator's done a fantastic job. Curved numbers there at the top. Wow. Really does look beautiful, doesn't it? Really, really nice. Okay, what do we have? So we have the tender here at the back. I don't see anything else really around here. There's a hatch. I don't know where this goes. Oh, okay, so that would be for refueling maybe some water, possibly. We can actually climb up to if we want to. We've got some fire extinguishers. 
and looks like we have access to the water yes and then over here would be the coal and i'm guessing there's some hoppers underneath there okay cool let's jump inside and let's see what's going on so yeah we have a coal hopper over here which we can load and unload and that we can put into our furnace which is all firebox which is just over here and a lot of controls got an option to open the windows it's cool horn we got air valves, water valves, all kinds of cool things. Now, what I am looking for is a light switch, but I didn't see any lights in here, so I'm guessing we just get lit by the firebox down there. Okay, let's try and get this up and running. Now, the first thing we need to do is get the ignition on. Okay, so we've got that on. Nice and easy. We need to turn on the system water pumps. Okay, we've got that. Now, we need the air valve, which, uh, where is the air valve? Steam release is there got reverses brakes we got pressure regulator and we've got the air valve over there okay we need to open the steam valve and the water valve okay so steam valve and water valve and then only open the boiler regulator if there is too much okay cool we've got spotlights in the front we've got steam release reverser we've got throttle lever we've got brakes there's the pressure regulator over there if we need it very cool and we can of course open this up and see inside nice okay there's some equipment on the roof if we need it and in the back brakes are currently on at the moment pressure regulators off we don't need that great let's now just wait for our system to get some pressure and then we'll head off okay so we're just starting to build up some pressure here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my brakes off Ooh, that's a nice little feature there and let's get our throttle up and we should be moving actually oh look at that oh man that looks cool and look at the how everything is working there and that's nice okay let's do full throttle wow that is very quick very very quick I think we're going so fast that we can't the tra <laughs> poor wheels oh there we go now they're catching up man that's cool what's our pressures good speed wow speed is very fast I feel like we don't need that much speed that is so cool and then of course we have uh the coal level over here so we're on 18 at the moment but if we need to refuel that or restock that we grab some coal here we stick it in oh man that's so cool so now that oh so here we go so some more coal some more coal so that's on 18 let's get some more 19 and we can just keep on loading up with more more and more coal that's on 21 now and that is really nice i think great has done a fantastic job haven't they looks so cool unfortunately it does shug around a bit once we're going around the corners but once you're on the straights Man, does that look beautiful, doesn't it? Now you can go in reverse, so there is a reverse over here, so we could get our throttle down. Uh, we don't need to let go Ooh, pressure. I guess we could maybe let go of a little bit of the pressure. It's getting a bit a bit high there, as you can see. We could always drop the air and the steam valves if we wanted to. But yeah, what an awesome little creation! I think this is beautiful. I'm gonna just go and get all of this off for now. So we can decrease our steam valve and decrease our water valve here. And that means our pressure should maybe start dropping down. We could also just release it if we wanted to. Cool. So a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creation, guys. I definitely recommend you guys go and check this one out. Have a little play with it. Detailing is absolutely spot on. Great job to the creator on this one. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have a nuclear powered fast attack submarine Mark 1. Now, this has got a obviously a nuclear power plant inside it, which means you can have infinite driving capability. Uh, along with that, is we've also got four vertical silos with uh, ballistic GPS missiles in there and also two torpedo tubes with six torpedoes in them. Uh, so, yeah, really cool in terms of features. 
and apparently this is quite big. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the submarine, this thing is really big. Like, ah, really, really big. So I'm guessing we have some torpedoes here in the front. Uh, along with that, maybe these are for the re... Maybe you can actually go and drop some more torpedoes inside. Uh, looks like we've got the GPS Valkyrie system. So these are your ballistic missiles. A little bit of a coning tower over here with... Looks like uh, a few areas that we can go up there. Some flares and things. We got the periscope, I'm guessing. And then here at the back, it looks like refueling. Maybe some water. Uh, we got a hatch here. Another hatch over there. Okay. Let's go and jump on this. Now, this thing's massive. Uh, it's a little bit laggy, but we are in port. And I am running at full physics quality. So you can obviously go and reduce that. But I think once we get out of the harbor, we'll get a little better. So we've got a hatch here, and looks like we've got some controls for that. We've got flares. We've got, oh, Morse code. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go through. So you can actually open the inner and outer. So the outer door, which is this one. And then I'm guessing there's another hatch down there. Yes, there is. And you can open that also. Now we can do it from up here or down here. You can see, close it, and it goes and closes that. And we can open this one. <laughs> really cool. Now, you can also control all of those from inside the submarine. So if you're not just doing it from here, for example, uh, I think there's a station over here. Yes. So over here, you get access to all of the doors that you can manually control from here, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, this thing is massive. This oh, absolutely massive. Like, look at this. Look at all of this. Oh, my word. This is beautiful. The creator has done a fantastic job. Really, really, really. So cool. Toilets. Okay, let's go through to the back. And in here, I think we have our reactors and things we do. Okay, cool. So we have our different reactors. You can see down there the core. Beautiful. We can go through here. We also got lights if we want to get them on. We have cabins and things. Man, this is really beautiful. The amount of detail the creator has done with this is spectacular. Okay, we do need to get things running though. So we need to get our reactor on, we need to get our generator on, and we also need to get our generator on. So that should then do everything, it's engaged it, and it should be producing power for us. We don't need to do anything else, uh, which is cool. fine. And you got simulations. So much fun. So, so, so cool. And here, what is this? Intercom. So like a little intercom system. So nice. Okay, what else do we have here? So this looks like we've got our systems or like a status screen of what's going on. And then here we've got alerts, radiation, temperatures, and water levels. Okay. Torpedo, missile systems. This looks like a map and... Ooh, periscope. Okay. Very big periscope. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, let's go and turn that off. Let's go back to our map screen. Uh, you can hear those generators in the back, the nuclear steam and things. What's through here? So it looks like we've got some cabins. It's a little eating area. And then we've got our ballistic missiles. Let's get the light on, which is here. Uh, ballistic missiles inside here. Cool. Intercoms again. We've got some more cabins. And then torpedo room. Have lights? Yes, we do. And beautiful. All the torpedoes inside here. So cool. Okay, let's go and see if we can get this thing moving. So we've got the nuclear stuff all running already. And we should be able to jump down here to the helmsman. So helmsman's got a beautiful little screen with pretty much everything you need. So we've got compass bar, we've got depth, we've got speed. Nice heading. These looks like our depth here and ballast tanks. A uh, little map screen here, some controls, autopilot stuff, ballasts. Okay, so this, you can see the hotkeys <laughs> on the left hand side of my screen. Wow, there's so much. Okay, so this works on a different speed mode. So you can get like a main drive, a full throttle, half throttle, etc. So currently we're on stop. And if I press one, we'll go into slow. We should start moving actually. Yep, you can hear it moving. Uh, our speed's on the right hand side and we can actually turn left. Yep, 
So we're now turning left a bit. Very cool. You are requested, as you can see there, what I requested there. And I can keep on going more. And so nice. And let's go out. There we go. And we're turning. Now we can go and increase our speed here. So half, standard, full, blank. Uh, and then we can obviously reduce that too, and we can even go into um, we can even go into reverse if we want to. Uh, we can also set our ballast for neutral buoyancy, and uh, you can do it for manual control, or you can blow all the ballast. It's completely up to you. Uh, we can also change our order depth, and we can actually enable that if we want to. Uh, so we can set it to whatever depth we want. We can set it to negative 100, etc. So, but pretty straightforward here. Uh, we can also have different cameras. So underneath, oops, underneath uh, top forwards periscope and where we were before so cool okay did i close all the hatches i think i did let's just yeah i did okay cool we don't have any alarms going off you can see there's a couple other ones there and uh, great man i feel bad because i can't check out everything in its creation there's so many things okay uh, torpedo stations looks like it's working on a radar system yep and then you can just fire them off if you want to okay so prep and then release prep release and then you can okay pretty yeah pretty straightforward then how that works and then we also have your valkyrie ballistic systems and we can open up the tubes so that should have opened up a tube here at the top yes it has okay uh, and now we can enter a waypoint system. So, for example, let's choose this island. Let's go and enter that in. Uh, we also have target altitude and then top out altitude. So we can say, hey, you know what? Um, the island is at, let's say, 50 meters high in altitude. And I want you to, let's say, I want you to fly at 400 meters or 1,000 meters, whatever it is. Uh, once we've got it open and we've got everything activated, we should be able to just fire it. Yep, there it goes. Oh, man. And now we've got a camera on it. And it should be somewhere up there. Let's just go back to it. So here it is there. So you can see it's altitude. We set it to 400. Yep, now it's dropping down. And it should hit that island. Once it starts balancing itself on, I think. Where is it? Can I see it yet? I think it's just at the top. Yeah, there it is there. So I think it's still sorting itself out. Yep, now you can see it's starting to turn left should start going towards that island okay still got the camera on it so you can still see it now let's go back to third person yep it's turning left now and it's going towards that island now we could jump over here go to periscope turn the periscope left if we could can you do that from your seat i wonder if you can turn we can't really i don't think we can turn can we Previous screen, radar, oh, I don't think we can, oh you can on the screen, ooh that's cool, so you just do touch screen, oh nice, and then you also have field of view, is that missile, I think the missile's hit, yeah I can see something in the water there, cool, uh, really nice guys i'm gonna stop there because i can just spend so much time in here playing around all these systems but the creator's done an absolutely fantastic job with this and i'm sure i haven't covered even the surface of all these things that are inside here it's, looks absolutely gorgeous definitely recommend you play with us check it out in the workshop and the lag is completely gone now that we're away from the dock oh, gorgeous really good job to this creator Let's go and move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the N1 Soviet Moon Rocket. Now, this is meant to be a recreation of it uh, and looks absolutely massive and gorgeous from the workshop here. Uh, along with that, we've also got a little control station with some cameras inside there. So let's just spawn it in and let's see if we can get a successful launch here in Stormworx. All right, and spawning in the creation, you can see the rocket and the actual support for it, man incredible size of this thing wow we also have the control station over here or viewing station let's go inside this and let's see what we have in there and then we'll head over to the rocket afterwards okay so we got some doors to go in a lot of viewing stations okay 
Oh, looks like main monitors, camera up and down, camera zoom in and out. Okay. So pretty straightforward on what we have here. And then we can actually just come and manually view it if we want to. Look at that. So nice. Okay. Let's go and head over to the rocket and let's see what's going on over there. So over here, looks like we have got the main rocket itself with some different separation stages to it. Oh, that is cool. I can imagine looking at that once it's fired. Okay, what else do we have? Some spotlights facing upwards and then we can go and walk around here. Walk up the staircase and there should be an elevator in here. Yes, there is. Okay, so we can go into the elevator. Uh, up, down, lights, up. Do I have to hold it? I do. Oh, well, that was quick. Very interesting way to do elevator using ropes. But I can, or <laughs> very interesting way. You can also release it. Does that mean you just drop down? Where are we? Oh, we've gone too far. Or is the rope meant to be like an emergency thing? I just want to <laughs> go down and get inside this, which is right, should be over here. Seems like there is a connector over there, as you can see. Let's go down a little bit more. There's a connector there, and we need to turn that off. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And now we can go down. You can hear the wind. Okay, let's get inside the rocket. Uh, so we've got double doors. Uh, jump up and in. And then we've got this hatch that we can close. We've got what else? Nothing else. Okay, we can go into here, which I'm guessing is the launching station. Two seats. I'll jump in the commander seat. Transponder. We've got battery. I guess turn that on. Okay. Uh, what else do we need to do? I think there's not much else. Next stage start engines. Automatic guidance, launch, fairings, abort, launch heading. Okay, so pretty pretty limited on the controls here. Uh, so we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Um, okay, we need to press the large button to close the hatch. The large button to close the hatch. Anyone see a large button to close the hatch? I did not see. There's a transponder button. Maybe... That's a light button. Okay, we don't need the light button. Ah, oh, hatch. There we go. Cool. So hatches are closed. Fantastic. So we've got that. Uh, we need to do, 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 turn on power. We've done that. Okay, launch azimuth. Okay, so launch heading. Let's do one. Why not? Uh, automatic guidance. We're going to get on two. And then there we can pretty much uh, press the launch button. Okay. I don't know about the engines. Do we need to... Turn the, I think it's on manual mode, isn't it? So let's just do launch. So, okay. So I'm actually going to go into third person here, guys. And this way I can show you what's happening better. So let's feel the view. Okay, cool. Okay, so it looks like it's done that. We've still got everything connected, or well, some of these things connected. Rockets are starting to go up. Okay, we've got one of those arms which have moved across. There we go, all of them are gone. And there goes the rocket. Man, look at that. Wow, so it went through its whole whole process there. Now I'm guessing what's gonna happen is eventually we're going to lose some of these pieces once we get up to a certain height. I'm guessing, I could be wrong. Okay, so apparently this whole automatic process lasts around 10 minutes. I'll try and speed it up for you guys until we get to some interesting points. Still heading up. So I'll try and get you guys. There we go. So I just hear some more rockets going. So I'm guessing we're going to lose. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Oh man, that's so cool. And then I'm guessing we have a couple more stages that we can go through. Um, but guys, I'll leave that for you to go and uh, check out and investigate for yourselves. But man, really cool. Really cool. These are like rockets and space stuff. This is definitely one to go and 
playing around with. Oh, but I forgot to close one of the hatches. Oh well. Uh, anyway, really cool. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the last creation for the episode. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the MV Pontus. This is meant to be a multi-purpose uh, vessel, guessing obviously for support and a few other things that you can do on it. Um, yeah, I'm guessing it has everything that you would possibly ever need. Uh, along with that, also apparently a very simple bridge control system and also a waypoint autopilot system. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the last creation, very nice looking ship so far. Looks like we got some stabilizers here on the sides. Looks like some guessing would be bow thrusters over there. Uh, anchors, Ooh, the working anchors too. Uh, overall looks really cool. It does look a little blocky though. Maybe I'd like to see the creator maybe try and smooth this out using some wedges. Possibly, yeah. Because this does look like very, yeah. This looks very blocky here. Okay, oh well. Uh, let's carry on going around. We can also have a look underneath and just see how the crate's done that. Okay, yeah. I know you don't really see it, but you know, it does have a sinkable mode, so you probably will see the bottom piece of this. So I'd maybe like to see some of this smoothed out. Uh, but that's just my opinion on the matter. Uh, let's go and check out what's on the back here. So it looks like we have a crane. Uh, where are the controls for this crane? Possibly, maybe it's radio controlled. I haven't seen any controls just yet. We'll go and check it. Oh, maybe it's from up there. Okay, cool. Uh, so we've got crane controls. Looks like we've got ISO connectors. We've got a bunch of other connectors on the deck if we need it. Storage, watertight storage hatch. Not quite big, actually. Nice. Looks like there's also a little bit of an elevator in there, too. Okay, very cool. Uh, what do we have here at the back? So a big winch system for towing things. Nice, okay, refueling. Let's head up and around. Okay, so okay, so here's our crane controls over here. So very basic crane controls. Firefighting. And here are the front anchors. Mooring lines, and then all of our different hatches to go in everywhere. Okay, interesting. Let's check out some of the interior. I won't check out all of it, guys. I'll leave some of it for you guys to have a look at. So we've got a little crew cabin in here. Nice. We've got a bathroom, gym, oh cool, I like the attention here to adding all these little rooms. Uh, we can go down, we've got basic storage, we've got toilet and games room. Okay, so just some workshop games, cool. Okay, let's head up to the bridge, I want to see how this thing works. So we can go up here and then think here, yes. Where are we now? I think we have one more level, don't we? We've even got little paintings on the wall. Very nice. Uh, crew quarters, medical room. Is there a staircase? Yes, there. Yeah, sorry. Ladder. Okay, so ladder and upper in the bridge. Cool. So we've got some little table here at the back. We've got nothing. Oh, decorations. Okay. Looks like engine control stuff. Helm. A fake map. Uh, a bunch of screens and things, a little radio, fire suppression, and then syncing. Okay, let's get this thing on. So, searchlights, screen one, two, three, and four. What does that say? If you activate this, you will have no rudder control. Okay, we'll turn that off. Anchors, beacon, emergency heaters, toggle, foghorn, searchlights, exterior lights, nav lights, bridge lights, clutch, reverse, helm. Exhaust pumps, fuel pumps, starter, starter. I guess we need throttle first, don't we? Let me start these engines up properly. There we go. Wait for those to go up. Kind of we're not moving at the moment. And we can get some clutch to move, of course. That should be enough. And maybe we can turn. Are we moving yet? We are very slowly. Okay, so I'm going to try and start to turn. It is rocking around a little bit. But I think the creator said they're still working on the stabilization system for this boat. And turn almost straight now. Just have to worry about the back of the dock there. Uh, let's go and give it some more clutch. There we go. And we're moving. Full speed. Nice. I like it. Definitely does look cool from the front, doesn't it? Go and turn here. 
does really dig in, doesn't it, when you turn? We straighten it up. Yeah, a little bit of leaning to the right, but not much. Cool. Okay, so pretty straightforward in getting this running. Just be, I think, be careful of, of this autopilot because then you don't you don't get any controls. Uh, we've got a little radio station, and I think we can also climb up, can't we, onto the roof? Yes, we can. Let's have a little walk around the outside first. Okay, so some seating. We can go down the decks here. Yeah, overall, really cool. I like it. It's very simple. It's very, it's very simple. It's not overdone, um, and it doesn't lag. So this is also a very useful feature. And then we have our crane controls, which are also very, just very basic controls here at the back. Up, down. Yeah, that's for the winch systems. We got up and down of the actual crane. We got maggle left and right. Very simple, but it works. So, great job. Good job in the crater. Uh, one thing I would like is maybe just the hull smoothed out a bit and just a little more tension there. But that's just my opinion. Um, anyway, guys, I think that's a great place to end this episode off with. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments of what you think of the creations in the video comments below. And I'm sure the creators would also like to hear what your comments are of these. Um, guys, if you want to download any of the creations we had a look at in this episode, I do leave them linked in the video description. So you can go download them. Give some love to the to the creators and just uh, play around with them. So guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss my future content, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you click the little bell icon too. And until next week, we will see you then.